Hello, I am now going to do a recipe for salmon cakes. So even though you see my stomach, I got my phone down so you can see inside the pan. And I will read off to you the uh, ingredients that I'm using. So I have, because I have a big family, greedy boys, I'm using five packets of this uh, pink salmon. It's easy to use. You don't have to pick all of the bones and drain it and skin and all of that. You just open it up and dump it in the pan. Okay, so I got all five packets of my um, salmon in the pan. And I'm just breaking it up now because it comes out as like a sheet from it being flat, a flat packet. As you can see. So I'm doing tonight some shrimp for my kids. I went and got me two more lobster tails. So I already seasoned those and put it in the pan. So I'm going to put those in last. So then you use breadcrumbs, any type that you like. Or you can use, make your own breadcrumbs with some bread in a food processor. But I just use this. It's quick. And to measure it, because I've made this so many times over the last probably 20 years, um, I just know how much I want. But I believe you can put like maybe a cup, a cup and a half of um, breadcrumbs because you want to make it thick. This is to make it thick because if not, it's like a thickener. It's not going to um, stick. It's not going to stick together. Then you use your mayo. So this is what I'm using. And I just use um, a good amount because I have so many packets in here. I'm trying, they used to have the recipe on the back of these things, but they don't anymore. So yeah, so how much mayo I use. Like I said, I've made this so many times. So now I'm going to do a little bit of sea salt. This is the kind of salt that I use. You don't want it to be too salty. And then I'm going to put some adobo. It's clogged up. Just put a little bit. Not a whole bunch. And then some black pepper. I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice. You can use as much or as little as you want. You also can cut up onions and peppers into this, but it's like 8.40 here. It's late and I need to get this dinner done. I had to take my son to a workout, a football workout tonight so that's why my dinner is so late and then the end you're gonna add eggs I'm gonna do since I have five packets I'm gonna do five eggs so basically it's like one egg for every packet that you have and if you think you need it a little bit thicker just add more breadcrumbs bless you That's that, and then you mix it up. When you're used to making stuff so often, you kind of don't measure out your ingredients. You just go off of what you've been doing because you make it so much, so many times. I used to make salmon cat patties all the time, salmon cakes all the time, but I've gotten lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more breadcrumbs to this. Make it a little bit thicker. And 
has to be, it's only a little bit left in here. So I'm just going to use the rest of it. I hate doing that, I like leaving a little bit of something. And, and so basically, this is how you make the mixture for your salmon cakes. And you see how thick it is from the breadcrumbs? So this way it'll stick together and not fall apart because if you don't put enough breadcrumbs in it, it will fall apart on you. And that's what you don't want, especially when you get it into the pan. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my uh, frying pan. I use, um, you can use canola oil or extra virgin or extra virgin olive oil. I just choose to use extra virgin olive oil. Um, it has a high um, heat rate on it, so you can use it to do stir fries or quick fries or whatever. Um, I only use really canola oil to do deep fries like chicken and sometimes fish. I even fry my fish in here by frying it in my frying pan and not deep frying it. So. I will come back with how the salmon cakes look. So I just wanted to come back and show you um, my lobster and shrimp. I just seasoned it with Old Bay, put some butter all over it and squeeze the lemon juice. So that's what you see in here. So that's that. These are the um, sausages that um, I'm gonna cook that I told you about in my last mukbang. I had used these red pepper fire roasted uh, sausages and these are chicken sausages and I get mine from Sprouts. So that's what I'm gonna cook. And then for my seafood sauce, because I was tired yesterday, I really didn't um, show how I made it and what ingredients I used. So Basically, these were all the ingredients I used. You can use, um, I used about, probably about four to five sticks of butter. Because it really, when you do it, it really doesn't seem like a lot. It just seems like it's all seasoning. So you do have to use a lot of butter, depending on how big, how much you want to make. I did have some left over from yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to make a small amount. So I probably use two sticks of butter tonight, season it with my pink salt, maybe about, I don't know, a tablespoon. You got garlic powder. You just got to season it to your liking, you know, just taste it and keep seasoning from there. I got my Cajun seasoning, adobo, which I use in everything, black pepper, smoked paprika oregano, Old Bay, onion powder. I use minced um, garlic. I do maybe like a table, uh, maybe like, yeah, a tablespoon because I don't want it too garlicky. I cut up my onions. I just slice them and cut them in the fours. So this is the onion I had from yesterday. So I used over half of the onion. So I'm gonna just use the rest tonight and your Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I don't think nobody can say this. And basically you melt your butter. Um, and once your butter is melted, you pour all your seasonings in, uh, put your garlic, minced garlic in, your onions, and just stir it until it comes to a um, boil. And then you taste it to see if the seasonings is to your liking. If not, you just add more um, seasonings until you get it how you want to. And that's that. So be right back. And so voila, here is your, um, your salmon cakes. And what you wanna do is you bring out a couple, just squeeze some, um, some lemon juice on it. You know, every couple that you bring out, 
squeeze a little lemon juice on it. And there you have it. Sammy cakes. And then how you make them, you make them as big or as small as you want. Um, you, I basically, what I do with my mixture, um, because I have so many packs and it'll be, you know, enough for everybody. I just spoon it up like this and drop it in the uh, oil. That's it. So if you only want to do small ones, you just spoon out a small. If you want to do big, you spoon out a lot and it's drop. And it'll kind of, you know, form, especially when you turn it over. So thank y'all for watching. Give me that thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, and give me a comment. Give me some dialogue. And these will go great with hot sauce. You already know you could do these with cheese grits. Mm, it's just so many possibilities. Peace.